Shalom and welcome to this international broadcast of our great, good, and terrible black God, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. We're broadcasting live from International Headquarters, 2766 Northwest 62nd Street in Miami, Florida, zip code 33147. We, the so-called Black People of America, are the chosen people of Almighty God Yahweh. We are the people of the Old Testament Bible. Prophecy in the Old and New Testament tells us to look for the coming of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, who would come in his Father's name, Yahweh, St. John 5.43. The so-called black people of America are the most blessed people on earth. For unto us a child is born, unto us the Son, Yahweh, is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6. I just like to testify to you this morning that Yahweh is God. And besides Yahweh, there is no God. I just like to testify to you today that the great, good, and terrible black God, Yahweh, the only true and living God, Yahweh, has sent his son, Yahweh, been Yahweh, to you and me, the so-called black man of America. I just like to testify to you that Yahweh has sent our Savior, who is here, to redeem us today. I just like to testify to you that our Savior is not only coming, but he's here. I like to testify to you that our Savior is here to deliver us and to bring us into our own land. And he ain't just coming no more, but he's here right now, dwelling among you and I today. And in a few minutes, the very one that I'm talking about, the very one that has you and me dressed in white this morning. The very one who has shook up this city is here, dwelling with you and me right now. Who has caused a controversy in Miami. Is Yahweh Ben Yahweh, who has caused a controversy in a hundred major cities across America. Is Yahweh Ben Yahweh, who got the United States government upset. Is Yahweh Ben Yahweh, who put all of the towns out of business. Is Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, who set all black leaders down? Is Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, who has put the preachers out of business? Is Yahweh, our Messiah, who is here to deliver you and me from the hands of the white man? Is Yahweh, our Messiah, who has, is here to deliver us from the brutality of the white man who has treated us evil and afflicted us evil for the past 400 years? It's Yahweh, our Messiah, who has come here as a champion for you and me. And now to a service live and in progress with Yahweh, Ben Yahweh. Blessed be the King! How do we love our brothers and sisters? What is our motto? Our motto is one love, one mind, one love, and one end. What is our motto? Our motto is one love, one mind, one love, and one end. We're all for one. And one for all. We want for our brothers and sisters. What we want for ourselves. What about soup? If I have a little soup, you better have a little soup. And anything else? What is the duty of a Hebrew man? What is the duty of a Hebrew woman? And if he returns from the law, praise Yahweh. Who is God of gods? Who is the King of kings? Who is the Lord of lords? Who is our president? Who is our governor? Who is our mayor? Who is our leader? 
And who do we follow? We let everything that has breath. What color are all his prophets? What color is Israel? How many tribes of Israel? What's the name of the fourth tribe? What did Yahweh choose Judah to do? How long? How long is forever? What did Yahweh choose Judah to do? Who is Judah? What did Yahweh choose you to do? How long? What did Yahweh choose you to do? How long? How long is forever? Yahweh chose who? Yahweh chose who? Yahweh chose who? If you don't know that, Psalms 100. trumpet part one you can see i'm going to work early tonight this is the memorial blowing of trumpets feast of trumpets 1984 and i would like to give you evidence that i am blowing the trumpet of warning in america by reading to you a letter from Joseph Dan in Washington, D.C. Shalom, sir. I want to let you know I love you and miss you more and more as the days go by. I want to apologize for my unrighteous acts that I did in breaking Yahweh's laws. But you know, and I, along with everyone else, that Yahweh punished me for it. I'm doing fine now, and I pray everything will stay that way. I have a wonderful, exciting testimony that I would like to share with you and headquarters. Monday 7, 1684, and Tuesday 7, 1784, Elder Ami and myself went downtown Washington, D.C., dressed in all white with staffs, looking like angels of the mighty God. We paid Pharaoh Reagan and his people a visit with the article, Jesus and Jehovah do not exist, and Yahweh the black God comes to Washington. We took it to the chief of police, mayor, the FBI, Supreme Court, the White House mail room of the president, the Dirksen, Russell, and Hart Senate buildings, Thurgood Marshall, a Jacob of the Supreme Court, and all nine of the Supreme Court members got it, including Senator Lawton Childs, Paula Hawkins of Florida, they got it. Edward Kennedy, Edward Kennedy, Gary Hart, and all of the rest of them got it. White people looked at us shocked, eyes about to pop out of their head, mouths hung open. Tourists got all in front of us, in back of us, on the side of us, and took pictures as we were on our mission. <laughs> Blowing the trumpets. Guards and officers asked us where we were from, and we told them Israel. They were shocked. And the first day, they let us take our staff through the whole building. The second day, the guards called a lieutenant officer and told him, we have two gentlemen down here to see the senators looking like Jesus. I know you got the message. They know he's black. (laughs) 
We have two gentlemen down here to see the senators looking like Jesus, and they have sticks the kind Jesus used to carry. <laughs> They said this on the telephone. We frightened the devil so they kept the staffs that time, the staffs that time. All of the secretaries trembled as they read the newsletter. I told them I have a message from God to the senators. And they freaked out of their minds in fear and outrage, but there was nothing they could do but tremble. Praise Yahweh. <laughs> Yahweh Ben Yahweh, I thank you for letting me receive this experience firsthand. I am so high until I just had to tell you my experience. Shalom. <laughs> hey, John. We have someone in visiting in the city who is speaking at the Caleb Center who was on the radio about an hour, a couple of days ago. And at the end of his program, he said that we have a very fine Hebrew Israelite man in Miami that's doing a great job of helping our people. And I also have a tape in my office where he spoke about Shiloh coming and Yahweh coming. I have that tape in my office, the same brother said that. So his mouth, his tongue has already confessed Yahweh because I got it on tape and I heard it. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. I want you to get the 11 o'clock news tonight, channel 10. Um, I watched the little interview and I, there might have been about 12 people in there, mostly reporters, and they're fighting his presence in the city. I'm the invisible man. Anything that uh, any so-called leader says is tame and nothing compared to what Yahweh has to say. <laughs> Yahweh's message is so hot until they just want to pretend it doesn't exist. I have no problem with that because their acclamation about Yahweh doesn't determine his existence anyway. <laughs> Yahweh exists anyway. No matter what. <laughs> now let's uh, read First Chronicles 24 and determine what we're all about. What the real fuss is about. First Chronicles 28.4, read. How be it, the Lord God Yahweh of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he has chosen Judah to be the ruler and of the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he like me to make me king over all Israel. Praise Yahweh. Now Israel is in the news every day. The name Israel. Our name is in the news every day. International news. Every day. Yahweh keeps our name in the news. But we, the sons and daughters of Yahweh, the children of Israel, they try to pretend we do not exist. But we understand why. Nevertheless, we shall continue to blow the trumpet. I shall continue to blow the trumpet and you shall continue to blow the trumpets. 
to our people, giving them warning about what is to transpire. Yahweh gave us the memorial of trumpets, popularly called the Feast of Trumpets today. The Feast of Trumpets is the fourth festival of the seven. We have seven festivals, and the Feast of Trumpets is the fourth festival. And uh, ironically, it comes on the first day of the seventh month of our sacred solar calendar. Maybe it's a coincidence that it comes on the seventh month. I doubt it. As we know, the number four is popularly known as a foundation number. And I'm only going to get into half of my subject matter as I intend to because I'll teach you other elements during Feast of Tabernacles. But it's very important for us to know that the Feast of Trumpets is the fourth festival. Comes on the first day of the seventh month of our sacred holy calendar. That means that we are either ahead or behind the world. We're leading the world. Because the false Jew will be celebrating Feast of Trumpets when? Two months from now? In October considerably later than we. Praise Yahweh. Praise. Feast of Trumpets is a festival. It's something very important. So important that Yahweh decreed it one of the seven festivals of perfection. to direct our minds upon some special event. And of all the years that I have taught you about the Feast of Trumpets, I'm going to give you completely new knowledge tonight. Not until I speak to you in a moment will you know the purpose of the Feast of Trumpets. Up until now, we have basically just celebrated the Feast of Trumpets. Yes, we celebrated it because Yahweh said celebrate. Yes, and we didn't have too much of a reason to celebrate it other than the fact he said celebrate. Yes, Yahweh said it, so it's written, and that's it. We do it. Praise Yahweh. Yes, but that's not good enough, according to Psalms. 47 7. That's not good enough. It's not good enough to just do it because Yahweh said do it. We must do it because He said do it. That is true. But to do it only because He said do it, that's not good enough. Verse 7, read. For Yahweh is the king over all the earth, singing praise with understanding. Up until now, we have not had that deep understanding as to why there is a festival known as Feast of Trumpets, a memorial blowing of trumpets. Why such a festival? Well, let me answer that question for you quickly. The memorial blowing of trumpets pitches to us the return of Yahweh, the son Yahweh. 
pictures the return of the son Yahweh how? Return to the earth in supreme power to rule all nations. Not just my coming, but the trumpets must be blown signaling the fact that I'm coming with supreme power. Not just power, but supreme power. Not just to rule in Israel, but to rule all nations on the earth. Because right here in Psalms 47, Yahweh is king over all the earth. What verse? Verse 3. Let's read. You shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. Praise Yahweh. Verse 2. Read. For the Lord Yahweh, most high, is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. Not some of the earth. So the feast of trumpets, the blowing, memorial blowing of trumpets is about, all about this announcement. Yes, you white people have been ruling the earth. But we're here blowing the trumpet of truth and reality that your rulership is finished. You have no choice now but to shake and tremble, according to James 2.19. You have no choice. All you nations of the earth, you must now mourn my coming. All you tribes of the earth. Matthew 24.30. It's your time to mourn now. Because we blowing the trumpet. Read. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. See, first, uh, there's going to have to be a sign that appears in heaven, on earth, in other words. In our kindergarten thinking, we have been trained to look up. And there's no such thing as up. It's only out from the planet Earth. There is no such thing as up. It is only out from the planet Earth. You see, up in China is down in America. Out in America is down to the Chinese. Because the earth is a sphere, circular, and therefore there can be no up unless it was flat and nothing beneath it. So it is only out. And this is not about anything out there. This is about everything here on earth. So there's a sign that must appear on earth. And I think the sign appeared this summer as we went around the country. And if the sound of our trumpets was not loud enough this summer, we'll just get a lot more trumpets and blow harder next summer.
praise God. And I can assure you that if we didn't make a big enough sign in the heavens this summer, we'll make a much bigger one next summer. So the memorial blowing of trumpets has always been about my coming to you. And my return to this earth. To get done what they lied and said got done 1900 years ago. It didn't happen then, that's why I had to return. If it happened then, I wouldn't have to return, it would already be. So since it's not, here I am. You can't get spirit on me here because it said there would be a sign in heaven of the Son of Man. You have to give up the spirit and deal with the Son of Man. Hey, darling. If you think I'm spirit, come and touch me. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Now, we're in solar time. Yes, sir. Don't question me about why we're in solar time and how we're in solar time. You go to Romans 125 and read who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie. Mm -hmm. And then go to Daniel 7, 25 and ask the question about the white lying devils who thought to change the laws of Yahweh in the times and the seasons. And then go and ask them why do you go against the Bible and what Yahweh decreed as the ruler of day and change it from the sun to the moon. And when you trace this down, you find out that it is the white people who change the truth into a lie. So don't question me when I take you back to Genesis 1 and 5 and prove what the ruler of the day is. Read, and Yahweh called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now you see, he established how you know what a day is. Darkness and light constitutes a day. Please turn to side two for part two of Memorial Blowing of the Trumpet. the day and I am the son ruler of the day so don't ask me questions ask the liar John 8 44 father of lies why he changed So I can prove from the day the white man was made 6,000 years ago, I can prove to the day that we are worshiping the seventh day, not Saturday. We worship the seventh day. 
And if, even if Sunday were not the day of this year as a Sabbath, it certainly never remains Saturday. Every day of the week gets its turn. So only Yahweh's truth remains standing tall as I teach it to you. And the devil and his lies remain condemned according to the word. And the way that we know I have to be on the right day is, Yahweh said, this is a sign between you and me. Exodus what? 31. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbath you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am the Lord Yahweh that doth sanctify you. Huh? Then he goes on through here to tell us he will bless us. And the way blessings are coming since we have started keeping the seventh day, it is just awesome. We bless more now than ever. Must be doing the right thing. I must be on key. Yes, sir. One thing we know, the solar day is ruling. Yes, sir. Always has, but the devil sought to change yes, the time and the seasons. Why? So you and I would be cut off. Right. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah. You'd be looking at the wrong sun. The memorial blowing of trumpets signifying the return of the sun, Yahweh. Up to now, up to this very minute, the very few called by Yahweh have had to overcome Satan and white Satan's world. So you've had to overcome Satan and white Satan's world. And that's a very difficult job for some of our people to do. Praise our way. Very difficult for some of our people to do. Overcome Satan and white Satan's world, his world. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. So this has been our problem we have had to overcome. Yes, sir. White Satan and his world. Materialism is something that has been put into us from a child. Santa Claus was all about materialism. Thanksgiving, all about materialism. Back to school, all about materialism. Labor Day, all about materialism. Picnic, materialism. Food, 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 food. We do nutty things for food because we've been programmed. But fasting is good for us. It gives you time to think about Yahweh. Do I want to serve Yahweh or do I want to serve my belly? Is my belly going to be my God? Where? Hebrews 3.19? Philippians 3.19. Corinthians 3.19. Corinthians, first, Philippians. 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 Oh, y'all got me looking. Oh, yeah. oh. All right, read. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, uh -huh. and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Who mind? See, when, when your belly is your God, Huh? 
Then your mind is on earthly things. Uh oh. Uh oh. When, I said, when your belly is your God, then your mind is filled with earthly things. Well, you want to say Yahweh is alive? And you whom your belly is your God. Your end is destruction. Better pass this word to the brothers outside that drink alcohol. Make sure the guards on the outside hear that part. Those that drink alcohol tend to be drunk and gluttonous bellies. Both of you are going to be killed. Deuteronomy 21, 18, and 19 tells you about that. The gluttonous and drunkard. If you love that, you still are going to be killed, rocked to death. So in Philippians 3.19, Philippians 3.19, if God is your belly, your belly is your God. Then shame shall be your glory. Your glory shall be shame. So when you be fat, it's a sign. <laughs> But you better get your belly under control. <laughs> and you that are skinny and trying to get fat through your God belly, your end is destruction. And it's rough overcoming Satan's world. You watch television, the devil advertises food every few minutes. Eat something, eat anything. The way they show TV, they'll make you eat the woman on the commercial because she's always on there. In every conceivable condition. Difficult to overcome Satan and his world and yet those of us that are coming to Yahweh right now, that's our difficulty. We are, we are the special breed. <laughs> to attain salvation is much harder for us in the now. That's why you see those that come in and they go out. See, it's very difficult to let the cares of this world alone. I showed two sisters last evening a copy of Ebony Magazine and I flipped from the front to the back and over half of the book is advertised in alcohol, cigarettes, white supremacy, curly perms, and nudity. And in the name of Ebony Blackness, when you read that book, you are being subliminally or openly, openly. not even sub, it's openly yes, courted and corrupted and made degenerate. Because they openly advertise corruption to you. So I said, I don't want any more Ebony's or Jets in our congregation. And I had been leaving them for our children to read, but upon examination yesterday, I have come to the click-up conclusion that we don't need any help from the outside world trying to corrupt 
our young minds, especially when our young boys want to take the magazine into the toilet. And such magazines will uh, try to tempt our children out into the world to be like the wicked ones are. They don't come up to Yahweh, they always seek to entice you to come out there. You and your children. So when I tell you don't let your children play with the heathens and unbelievers, you better take the wisdom. So I can say with safety that up until now, the very few called by Yahweh have had to overcome Satan and why Satan's world. And to attain salvation right now is much harder than it will be for the overwhelming majority of our people yet to be called as the judgment of white rulership heats up. The overwhelming majority of our people that are yet to come are not going to have the problem of overcoming Satan's world that we have. Because see, we are that first fruit. We're a special group called out of this world. Well, how are we special? Means that if we overcome white Satan and his world, we shall rule with Yahweh, the son Yahweh. That's the reward. You will rule with me if you overcome now. To come now and go back out there, you think I'm going to put you over somebody? Oh, no. Many whom you know that went out may come back. But see, they had that chance. As I am giving you your chance. As foolish as you are. Nevertheless, I give you a chance. To learn how to not be a sluggard, study the ant and not need a ruler, a guide, or an overseer. I'm giving you the opportunity to come and learn how to be a ruler, a guide, and an overseer. And you will be a ruler, guide, and overseer over those who came and left. And those who are yet to come will be over them because they're the last and they shall be first. But if you can't endure, stick it out. Then you'll rule with me. Thank you for listening to our international broadcast. And now some announcements by Yahweh Ben Yahweh. I would like to once again thank you for listening. It is time for us to wake up nationwide. It is time for our people to come to Yahweh, return to Yahweh, and join the kingdom of Yahweh. For the end of this white man's world is at our very door. Come to Yahweh while you still have a chance. Run to Yahweh. Fly to Yahweh. For the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. 2 Timothy 2.15 teaches us to study Yahweh ben Yahweh, which means to research all the facts about Yahweh ben Yahweh, seek to understand the nature of Yahweh ben Yahweh, and then learn how to apply all this information to better our lives individually and our nation Israel as a whole. Also, study in 2 Timothy 2.15 means that we should show ourselves approved unto Yahweh, the mighty God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So I invite you to study and do your research. 
Some of the books and aids that you need in studying Yahweh is the dictionary, encyclopedia, and also go to your libraries and research the word and the name Yahweh. I highly recommend the following books for you to read and study and do research in, and they are the original Black Bible, the King James Version, the way it looked before the white man changed it. Also, you are not a nigger, Yahweh God of God. Also, let my people go. Also, the Hebrew Israelite Divine Dietary Law Book. Also, 100 Years of Lynching. And our many pieces of free literature and free catalog. Now, I would like to make a very exciting announcement, an earth-shaking announcement. I have a brand new book that is going to shake the entire planet Earth up. All nations on the earth are going to be mourning over this book titled Yahweh Judges America. Yes, my brand new book, Yahweh Judges America, every family and all nations must have this book. Also, I would like for you to read The Mighty Black Man, which is highly symbolic with great information for us and our children. Wait, another announcement. I am releasing my second new book, which is for the entire family titled Yahweh Ben Yahweh Mathematics, Designed to Rule Forever. In this country, we as a people have never been taught how to count. In my book, Yahweh Ben Yahweh Mathematics, Designed to Rule Forever, I show you as the nation of Israel how we will continue to be prosperous and the ways we will continue to have good success. And remember, it's designed to rule forever. Also, I would like to encourage you to listen daily to the cassette tape lesson. You may take me in the quiet study room or while you are lying down in your bed with the lights out. You can listen to your cassette lesson and let Yahweh bin Yahweh bless your mind and bless your home. Also, you should be playing the music of Yahweh in your home and invite your friends to play the music of Yahweh in their home, such as we have the world's best-selling underground album on cassette tape titled, for example, Let My People Go by Elder Gideon, and also on another album, Spread the News by Elder Yosei. These two great best-selling tapes you will enjoy highly, and they are musical tapes by Yahweh. Now available is Yahweh's demo tape, which are samples of each album cassette tape. You should want their own in your home or play them in your car. Every Hebrew Israelite should own and play Yahweh music. There are seven tapes you must have. One, Songs of Zion. Two, Let My People Go. Three, Yahweh Our Messiah. All by Elder Gideon. Four, Spread the News by Elder Yosef. Five, Yahweh God of God by Josiah Ben. Plus six, Summer Tour Part One and seven, Summer Tour Part Two. Also, I would like to invite all of you listening to this broadcast to help wake our people up. Spread the news about Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Testify about Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Go out and make 1,000 friends among our people. My dearly beloved brothers and sisters, I would like to invite you to write me. Write for more information about Yahweh and the greatest movement in the world today, the kingdom of Yahweh. Whenever the elder is not answering you locally as you might desire, then feel free to write me here at headquarters in Miami for more information. You may feel free to write me personally anytime you choose here in Miami, Florida, 2766 Northwest 62nd Street, zip code 33147. We want you to know that we are now a worldwide movement in 15 countries. People all over the world, in the Caribbean Islands, in the northern tip of South America, in Africa, Hawaii, Philippines, Korea, they are receiving our literature and reading about Yahweh and his son, Yahweh ben Yahweh, and they are also accepting Yahweh as God. In America, we are in over 
655 cities. And we have over 5 million people who are reading our free literature and our free newsletter every month all over America. Can you imagine 5 million so-called black people in America reading about Yahweh and his son Yahweh ben Yahweh every month? This makes Yahweh and his son Yahweh ben Yahweh the most powerful voice among our people here in the hells of North America. It is very important that you who accept Yahweh as your God and believe on the name Yahweh ben Yahweh, the son of Yahweh, that you get your name entered into the Lamb's Book of Life. So you need to write me for a Lamb's Letter. If you would like to have your original Hebrew name and you are tired of going in the white man's name, you are tired of having a slave name after being free over 100 years, you are ashamed to have a slave name that your foreparents were forced to take during slavery, then write me for your Lamb's Letter and I will send it to you quickly by return mail. The scripture is Revelations chapter 20, verse 15. So return to Yahweh today. Join the greatest and fastest moving organization on the planet Earth, helping our people here in the land of North America. We, the so-called black people of America, are the ones standing in the greatest need and help. We need help more than anyone on Earth. Lastly, I would like to invite you to send your tithes, your donations, and your offerings to headquarters. Send them directly here to headquarters in Miami, Florida, 2766 Northwest 62nd Street, zip code 33147. Send all your tithes, offerings, and donations to headquarters so that I will know what you are doing directly myself. Read Malachi chapters 3, verses 6 through 10, and govern your life accordingly. Once again, it is a pleasure talking to you, and I have truly enjoyed this session that we have had today. Call your friends and tell them about this wonderful, wonderful program and come and be with us. We meet every night at our local YU in your city. YU means Yahweh University, where we offer the highest degrees known to man on the planet Earth. Come and join this one hour of letting me bring you a message directly from my Father Yahweh to you. And then you may study and learn of Yahweh ben Yahweh according to Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. You must take my yoke upon you and learn of me, and that will make you God, according to Psalms 82, verse 6. And after class, fellowship. Get to know one another and love one another and have wonderful times together. Also, the most important thing you can do after this is remember the appointed feast in Miami where Yahweh chooses to place his name according to Deuteronomy chapter 16. You should not miss one feast. Make arrangements now. Start saving now. Make your plans now. Some of the other feasts and holidays that you should be aware of and keep are the Feast of Weeks on May 20th, 1986. Once again, that's the Feast of Weeks, May 20th, 1986. Then celebrate with me at home the Memorial Blowing of Trumpets on September 8th, 1986 at sundown. In the future, I will make tapes available to you on these holidays so that you may enjoy them in your home. Ten days later, you must keep the Day of Atonement on September 17th at sundown. This day may be kept in the quietness of your home. You should fast and pray for 24 hours without food or water asking Yahweh to forgive you of your many sins. Then on September 21st, beginning at sundown, I'll see you personally once again for the Feast of Tabernacles. That's September 21st through the 29th. Don't miss this exciting feast that Yahweh, our God, demands that we keep here at International Headquarters in Miami, Florida. It is his law that you meet me at the Feast of Tabernacles and not come empty-handed. Yahweh ben Yahweh's disciples and followers are saving a $360 gift for the feast. If you are unable to come, send it at that time. I will not be making a 1986 summer tour, so you must come to the feast. I want to see you personally and bless you and your family personally. I want to bless your home and bless you September 21st through the 29th. 
always remember that Yahweh is God, and besides Yahweh, there is no God. Now, there's one more very important announcement I want to make because I love you. We have produced for you Yahweh kosher products. Yahweh kosher products means that there are no additives, no preservatives, no poison, nothing that will hurt you or harm you in any way. These products have been tested and tried and have been on the market for over two years. All over America, in every major city, people are familiar with Yahweh products, and they are Yahweh hair food, Yahweh shampoo, Yahweh conditioner, Yahweh's hand and body lotion, Yahweh's facial natural products, Yahweh soap carbolic, which helps to get rid of rashes and other skin problems and blemishes. Also, you may send for our free catalog describing these products and many, many others. So we are the ones who love you and care about you and are giving you products that are the best for you. So you may order these products. These are products that you can order only from headquarters. This is a mail order product only directly from headquarters. So if you would like to have the best products in the world for you and your family that will help you instead of hurting you, then you send for a Yahweh catalog and we will rush it to you by return mail. It seems that Yahweh is never finished with giving us excitement and new products and causing us to make new announcements. Once again, a new first. All over America, our women have requested famous natural oils, perfume scents. A world famous example is Giorgio. We have what you want. Remember, we have what you want. This is our wonderful introductory offer, Giorgio. World famous. You will never beat our prices. Always remember that our motto is one God, one mind, one love, and one action. And above all, never forget that Yahweh loves you, and so do I. Shalom, shalom.